us we stand apart knowing our destiny without a simulation only sincerity And what they say Marvel not at what they do We know it must go on The brotherly love continues Though we may fall To sin Love it covers multitudes Oh, right now we're in um we're on the northwest side of Detroit, inner city. We actually headed for a um a mall that everybody is pretty much familiar with. It's called Northland Mall. Um, this is where we shop at, pretty much. Actually, this is April first, and. Um, Usually we just get a lot of rain, but surprisingly now we're getting a lot of snow. Mike, could you introduce the Winans? Winans gang. Oh, we're gonna start from the elders. His name is David. Then comes Ronald. And the twins, Carvin and Marvin. Myself, Michael. You have Daniel, BB, then the girls, Cece, Angelique, Debbie. Don't forget mom and pop. Real important people. Mom and pop. That's all 12, whole clan. But the thing that centered all of us, the thing that was the great love of each and every last one of us was the music. And that seemed to be the common ground or the thread that kind of brought us all together. I remember when our family was um, was relatively small. It was just maybe four, five, and then that changed. Um, and then it was all boys, was seven boys straight. And you know, we thought we'd get that baseball team. And then <laughs> Cece showed up and ruined that. Cute, but she, you know, she cute, but she can't play second base. You know what I'm saying? But uh, we used to sing quartet music, and uh, you probably heard of us. The name of our group then was the Wine and Airs. No, no, y'all heard it. Well, y'all real good. Daddy, why don't you uh, show them what it used to be like at home? Well, I wonder can you hear Can you, can you the church bells tone Church bells tone I wonder can you hear now? Can you, can you hear the church bells tone Church bells tone I wonder can you hear 
everyday hoopla, the, um, the bad things that's going on, you know, in the world today, and uh, we believe that the only way out is uh, being in Christ, being saved, because there's so much going on, so much negative things that's happening, you know, in the inner city, on the outskirts, or what have you, but, um, you got folks that's caught into something that really don't know their way out. And uh, the only answer is Christ. That's the only way you can get out of this fast pace, no good, you know, world that we live in now. So let's call it Trey Winston. That's liable to, that might be the Winans' first single off the new album called Winans All Out. Church was definitely a center, you know. Our lives were centered around our church, and uh, we, we had a wonderful time. Uh, we knew uh, that we had young parents, so therefore, uh, at certain times, uh, making a lot of noise really didn't bother them. Uh, sometimes they join in the games with us, and so that was always fun to know. Um, even though they played with us and, 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 and sort of grew up themselves alongside of us, we knew uh, that they were still mom and pop. You know, they uh, called the shots, and no matter what was going on, uh, whatever they said, uh, if 
uh, time for TV to be cut off, there was no one else to ask. You know, no questions asked. Uh, if it was, a, if they should decide one day, hey, everybody go to bed. You know, hey, we went to bed. You know, and so we knew that they were the boss, and that made it um, easier. Even though we had freedoms, there were boundaries with those freedoms. My mind, no fault. some of the other people that we grew up with and see what they're going through now amazing. and what God has covered us from amazing. and it's and it's amazing you know it's nothing but God and the teachings of your parents that kept you out of so many different things you know and we're real grateful and I'm praying every day that I can do the same thing with my children you know not to be slack when it comes to God's word and and what they should do and what's best for them you know what they should watch with the, I mean, growing up, we couldn't even listen to secular music. That was like a total no-no. Everything was gospel, everything. Until we tried to make everything gospel, even commer- we couldn't we couldn't watch a McDonald commercial without, without turning it into the church. You know, and, it was like and, and, Hallelujah. You know, now, after McDonald. <laughs> and now I understand that. I understand yeah, that because it's the important. words are spirits, and if you listen to the blues long enough, you, you start feeling feel the like blues. You, yeah. If you listen to someone that says, be disobedient, you're going to start being disobedient, whether it's music behind the background or not. So I understand why my father didn't allow us to listen just to anything. You know, you know. and now that I'm grown and I can buy anything I want, I still don't do it. But just wave your hands. Just wave your hands if you're, if you're addicted.
lot of things that happens in our lives is because of things that we've done and we've caused them to happen, but yet and still, his forgiveness and his love is there to wipe away the pain and to bring us through yeah. the hard times. Stand up on your feet and clap your hands. It's time to dance. Hey, 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 hey. This is what I said. I said, get up on your feet. Come on, hey. Clap your hands. Hey. It's time to dance. It's time to what? It's time to dance. It's time to dance because I'm on. Here in an inner city, in any inner city in the world, you know the inner city is like the roughest part. They raised 10 children. Not one out of 10 have a prison record. We've never spent a night in jail. We've never been on drugs. We've never done any of those things. It's not that we're so goody goody. But they made sure that we got the lesson. If we were told to sit down and we didn't, or we misbehaved somewhere, we got spanked. And to this day, I don't hate my parents. I don't dislike them. I don't. I love my parents. I thank them for every discipline. I thank them for every lesson that they taught. I thank them for not letting us just grow up wild. School was cool, <laughs> but it wasn't nothing that, you know, you just, oh, I can't wait to go to school in the morning. I think the first three days of the beginning of a semester, maybe, because you had new, uh, new uh, school supplies. <laughs> but, um, uh, you know, you had friends and you met friends and, you know, it was a thing to do and all your other friends went and you didn't want to be dumb. So, you know, we went to school. And, and then you also had the, uh, the talent shows that we just loved. Anything dealing with music, we were there, you know, especially in our high school. Uh, Detroit was very well known for local talent. They say it's something in our water, you know, here in Michigan. <laughs> I can't figure it out, but so many talented people has come out of Motown, come out of Detroit, and um, they consider us being one of those, you know, kind of families. So anyway, the competition was pretty thick for school, comp I mean, talent shows. And um, that was something to really work for, practice for. And if you made it, you were really considered something special. If you were booed off stage, which you could be, <laughs> you took a chance getting up there with those high school kids. And if you were booed off, you just hung your head in shame when you came back to school. You know, that next Monday, you would just be like, oh, th that wasn't me, you know. But uh, if you got over, if you did well, oh, well then, you know, it was, it was, everything was okay. So your reputation, I think, was the main thing that could get crushed and hurt if you didn't do well at a talent show. So you rehearsed real hard because you wanted your peers to accept you. And uh, th this is what we were in, and uh, we did well. We were we were blessed. <laughs> we did well each time. Trouble will come. Trouble will go. Oh. When it's all. One thing I know, it's gonna be all right. Yes, it will. Yes, it will. It's just the way he planned it. Yeah, it's gonna be all right. Oh, my people, my people. Oh. Jesus said, here I stand, won't you please let me in, and you said, I will tomorrow, Jesus said, I am he to supply all your needs, and you said, 
Jesus said it by, I come that you might have life and that more abundantly. He didn't come to destroy. He did not come to uh, condemn. But he came to free and to liberate those that were in bondage and in captivity. So actually, life begins with Jesus. You know, uh, life before Jesus is not life. It's just merely existing. But life begins when you meet Jesus. And then you understand what his will is for you and his will is for you to live. He created this world for us to live in happiness and joy, peace together in love, not fighting one another because of racial differences or or borders or, um, you know, to one to rule over the other and we're better than you are, that kind of foolishness. That was not his plan, neither his purpose. His will for us to, was for us to live together in harmony and peace and to rule and to reign. If we who are Christians and the church would get in there and make church interesting, yes. allow the freedoms for, you know, your um, young people to have express themselves musically and not be so starch and so, you know, um, traditional to where as God doesn't laugh or have fun or he hates all teenagers or if you giggle too much, he'll kick you out of heaven. If our parents wanted to punish us, tell us we couldn't go to church. And we would just cry. Or we would just do whatever we could to try to get on the good side. Please let us go. Because that's where our friends were. That They had activities for us there. We were on special programs. We, we rehearsed to sing or we rehearsed to be in a play. Or we would have camps that would take the young kids yeah. to camping. And we wanted to be involved with that. So we would behave ourselves in order to be able to go. Said he never leaves. That's what he told. That's what he said. Said he never leaves. That's what he said. That's what he told me. That's what he told me. That's what he said. I'll be your father. That's what he told. That's what he said. That's what he said. said. I'll be your mother. That's what he told. That's, he told That's what he said. said. I'll be your best friend. That's what he said. That's what he said. That's what he told me. See, that's what he said. That's what he said. That's what he. That's what he told me, y'all. That's what it say, that's what it say, that's what it, that's what it don't say. See, that's what it say, that's what it say, that's what it say, that's what it don't say. See, that's what it say, that's what it say, that's what it, that's what it don't Oh, that sounds like Jesus. See, that's what it say, that's what it say, that's what it, that's what it don't say. See, that's what it say, that's what it say, that's what it don't say.
was 14 years old when I accepted Christ. And from that time on, the failures have been in, in myself, but never in his word. Never has one word of his promises failed. I accepted Christ, you know, in my life. And um, from that point, you know, I've been, you know, a Christian ever since. You know, but it, it does become a, a time in your life that you have to choose on what you, you know, what you want to be like and uh, what you, you know, where you want to be. And this is exactly where I want to be. So I had a, you know, everybody has a choice. Mm. And this was the choice I made. It's time about that time, y'all. It's time to make a change. Look, we are the people. We can do that.